Hi, I'm Brandon Enright, and this is a demonstration of how to solve the Dino Cube in Gelatin Brain's Virtual Magic Polyhedra program. Um, so, this program has a somewhat of a confusing view to newcomers. There's a left hand side and a right hand side, and so you can see both sides of the puzzle at the same time. I'm just going to look at this left hand side um, for the entire solve. So, everything that you need to see, you can just see in the left hand side, and I'm going to completely ignore the right hand side. So the dino cube is a vertex turning cube, and you can solve it into its inverse color scheme. But I'll ignore what that means for now. Um, sort of the basis of this puzzle is uh, a one-one commutator. So if you do that, so again, I'll, I'll initialize the puzzle. If you take this edge and you put it there, and then you take that edge and you put it there, then you undo, undo. You will have cycled three edges. So you will have taken the edge that was here and put it there, the edge that was here and put it right there, and then the edge that was right there and you put it right there. So using that sequence, you know, if you apply it three times, it'll go back to solve because it's a three cycle. And of course the the inverse, if you do this, it will do the same three edges, but it'll cycle in the other direction. So you can undo that with that and see because it was the inverse, we did zero moves. We did four moves, and then we undid four moves. So to solve this puzzle, I typically, well, let's, um, let's scramble a little bit better than that. So I typically solve all of the edges along the, the white face first. So here we go. So we have the white, green, white, red. So now we're looking for, like, white, orange. There it is. Now I want to want to put white, orange right, no, excuse me, I want to put it over here. Oh, and white blue was luckily just placed there. Okay, so now there's the orange blue piece. Then now we're looking for like the green orange piece, and it's right there, so we can do that. And then we're looking for the green red piece, and it's right there. I'm gonna undo the break that I did there. Okay, um, and then red blue. That's that's it. Okay, so now we're down to the last four edges. One of them is already solved. So now we need to do is we need to put the yellow orange here, the green yellow here, here, and then the yellow blue right there. So this should do it, and there we are solved. 